What's up everybody, this is Matt with Survivalist 2012. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over how I wired my solar panel system. I'm getting a lot of questions about how the wiring uh, goes through the house, so I'm going to go over it with you guys. Um, real quick, this is a power supply box um, that I purchased from Alpha Power Supply. Um, the damn thing was hard to get a hold of. It was extremely hard to order. I had to go through all kinds of stuff to get it, and it was very, very expensive. So, uh, if you guys like to check it out, alphapowersupply.com. Check it out. It's not meant for solar panels, um, but this is just the, the box cabinet that I have for the battery bank. So let me get up there and I'll show you guys uh, how I wired it and then we'll go in the house and show you guys all that. So all right guys, back. we're back. I'm going to go ahead and open up this cabinet and uh, I'll show you guys how I got things wired inside the cabinet uh, going from the battery bank to the inverter. Um, basically, as you guys know, as you read in the instructions at, at the, uh, the Harbor Freight instructions, you take your solar panel wires and what I did is I brought them down one of those conduits brought them around the back of the cabinet and then to a back of the a little hole back, back there flashlight out um, just let's see there they are right there where my beam of light is now I got them coming in to the charge controller here and then out from the charge controller I got a set of wires that come with the Harbor Freight solar panel kit and I got them hooked up to the batteries, positive to negative. As you can see there, there's a wire right here that comes with the kit. And then from the batteries, I got the batteries hooked up, um, just positive to positive, and then negative to negative. And then I have the wires, the wire leads to the power inverter, negative, positive, um, going up through this little hole here, and then positive, negative. Now I did wire this inverter up to the outside of the cabinet to a little switch right here so we can turn it on and off without having to uh, open the whole cabinet. So that turns it back on. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, how I wired the lights and everything up through the house. I'm going to make this as simple as possible without using a bunch of uh, mumbo jumbo you guys may not understand. You may or may not. But I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible for you guys. I took, basically all I did was use um, extension cord wire. It's cheap. It's easy. Uh, I'm not trying to pass any codes when I sell the house. I'm taking it with me, more than likely. So, um, I have the white wire right here connected to the silver screw. Okay. Opposite side, I have the black wire connected to the gold screw. And then, of course, I have my ground connected to the green screw. Now I put all those back together and I plug them directly into the outlets here on the inverter. This one I think goes directly up to the light in my kitchen. That's on the switch. And then the other one powers all the outlets in the house. Um, one other thing I wanted to make mention about, I do have a uh, receptacle back there that I haven't wired up yet. And then also I do have this thing grounded. So the whole cabinet is grounded to a ground rod outside. Also have a, uh, a breaker box right there. Um, just a, a standalone breaker box. Haven't hooked it up yet. So I'll be getting to that here soon. As you guys can see, 12.5 um, with the lights on in the house. Then I'm going to show you guys one other thing. It's always good to have a voltmeter. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And you guys can see what the inverter is pushing out versus what it pushes out of the receptacles in the house. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed, guys. And as you guys can see here, I got it plugged into the receptacle there. And out of this inverter, I'm pushing 118 volts. So what we're going to do is I got all these fished, all these wires wall fished. Um, they go out of that back hole back there. And then they go into this conduit up here and they go up into the attic. So I got everything wall fished, but I'll take you guys up in the attic real quick and show you some basic... Uh, 
ways of wall fishing this. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, as you can see um, up in my attic here, um, we do have vaulted ceilings. So it makes this, it made this job a little bit harder to do. Um, over here, I'll take you guys over there on our way to the back of the house is where we wired up the light for the kitchen. And then if you guys can see that little tiny hole back there, that's how I get into the back part of the house to wire up all the receptacles. 95% um, of my work was back there beyond that little hole. So let me uh, crawl over and uh, we'll get to the back part of the house and I'll show you guys uh, how All right guys, it. as you can see as we're walking through the uh, vaulted ceiling part of the attic, there is my um, light for the kitchen. You guys see the extension cord wire? That's actually coming out from the switch. So, you guys see these wires here? They go to the back part of the house there through a wall cavity to the switch, out from the switch, back to the light. So let me get back to the back part of the house, I'll be right back. All right guys, we are in the back part of the house. As you can see, I have very little room to navigate around in here. And a very little hole to kind of go through. But anyways, here's our wires coming from the solar panel system. And uh, I have them both. This is just for the kitchen light. What I did is I wall fished them through a wall cavity there. Kind of hard to see. Okay, one coming directly from the solar panel system or the inverter, and then the other comes back up and then feeds to that light. So that's how I mounted that with a switch. The other wire that feeds all the outlets comes in way over there. Um, I had to get in the very smallest part of the attic to find the wall cavity over there. And then I just drilled it through the wall. Okay, and that comes directly from the inverter as well. Now from that wall receptacle, I have wire coming out and then back to the back part of the house. You guys can see there, probably not. There's a wire over there going to the back part of the house to feed the other receptacles. Let me get over there and I'll show you guys that as well. All right guys, right here we are in the back part of the house. I did install a little uh, enclosure box here. Got the wire coming in to the enclosure box. Then I have the two wires going out, going down one wall cavity. So uh, the two back receptacles were pretty easy. I just ran two wires out and fed two receptacles through the same wall cavity. Now what I'll do is I'll, here's another hole that I did, missed the wall cavity. So I had to be to the left of that hole or the left of the enclosure to hit the cavity I was after. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, Go back in the house and show you guys the receptacles again and how I wired them up and we should be all done. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, we are inside at the switch. This is uh, powered directly from the inverter. Um, basically how it works is you have, have one wire that comes directly from the inverter and connects to the switch. And then out from the switch uh, goes back up through the wall cavity into the light in the kitchen. Now this is a three-way switch because uh, I wanted to put in another... Um, switch in the uh, kitchen but I never got around to it so when you buy a three-way switch you have to figure out basically how it works and this is how it works you do still have your silver screw I'm sorry you don't have your silver screw because this is the part that would uh, wire to the other uh, switch you have a gold screw and a black screw on this one now uh, to figure out um, which way is on and which way is off you have to use a, a voltmeter and you have to hook up both of these until you get a beep now that's on and then uh, when I flip the switch that means it breaks the connection so that's off so how you wire this up is you have uh, one black wire going to the black screw and the other black wire going to the light to the gold screw and then you wire nut your two white wires together and then you have your two green 
um, wires connected to the ground there. So that would be on and then off. Two white wires together, the two black wires, one black screw, one gold screw, and then your two grounds together. So we'll hook this back up, put it back in the uh, wall cavity here. And one other thing I wanted to show you guys, I showed it to you in the video. Um, as you see, I have this uh, set up directly next to commercial power. Um, so I did paint this wall, this wall um, cover green so you can signify the two. So you got your solar and then you got your commercial. All right, guys, we will be right back. I'll show you the uh, the outlet behind our couch in the living room that feeds the uh, the rest of the outlets in the house. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is receptacle behind my couch. Um, right now I have our living room lights plugged into commercial power because um, I have the uh, system uh, turned off right now. But as you can see, I'm behind my couch. And this is the receptacle. This receptacle is the main receptacle in the house now this wire right here comes directly from the solar panel system from the inverter and then this wire goes back out up to the attic and then feeds the other receptacles in the house and just basically hooked it up this way put the black to the gold screws put the white to the silver screws and the green to the ground screw and then I pop it in there and I put my uh, little green plate back on painted it green because it's sitting right next to commercial that way you can identify the two and I'll take you into the uh, I'll take you into one of the bedrooms and, and show you guys that receptacle and then uh, we should be all wrapped up so I'll be right back alright guys we are here at the last outlet I got this one uh, completely taken apart so I'm going to show you guys how to wire it up just a simple receptacle switch and then uh, you got your wall plate here I do have the system uh, deactivated right now um, but when we're done, what we'll do is we'll, we'll turn it back on and I'll show you guys. This is the last active um, device in, in the, the whole loop. So we'll show you what kind of uh, voltage we got coming out of it. Now, basically, it's pretty, pretty simple here, guys. You take your green wire, wrap it around your green screw there. Okay. And you screw that on. Okay, and then you take your white wire here to your silver screw. Just keep, just, I'm trying to do this as simple as possible for you guys, so just remember white goes to silver. And then you got your black going to your gold screw. Wrap that around. And screw it down as well. Then you have it all hooked up. You got the wire coming through the wall cavity into the uh, wall caddy that I installed here. Shove that back up in there. Screw that in. I've lost the top screw to this receptacle so I'm gonna have to make do with a, a little tiny screw that I, I got. Works just as good. Okay, I'm just going to leave that screw out for you guys, and I do want you guys to see that uh, I have no power into it right now. You guys can see. Now I'm going to go uh, uh, flip the switch on the inverter, and we'll show you guys what we got, right, guys. We're back. back. We do got the uh, solar panel activated now, and then, uh, we'll go ahead and turn this on. We are pushing 118.6 volts, and that's uh, solar power, guys. That's right off the battery, so off the inverter. So 
like I said guys I, I wanted to uh, do a quick wiring video I really hope that this kind of helps out with all of you guys that are uh, uh, trying to do this yourself I'm no professional by any means guys uh, just a regular guy who uh, figured all this out um, I do do electrical work um, but I am a linesman so I do uh, high powered electrical work um, I don't do in-house stuff like this but you know you basically know what you're doing um, just look just look it up I mean um, it's it's pretty simple to do I hope this video helps out guys so um, I just wanted to make this for you guys so if you guys have any questions feel free to leave me any comments till then this is Matt with survivalist 2012 peace